F1 H20 World Championship returns to Sharjah for the final round of the 2015 season. Sharjah is a sunny slice of heaven, tucked away in the heart of the United Arab Emirates and uniquely removed from the bustling feel of the rest of the country. It's a modern city with people from all over the world and a rapidly developing emirate. But it also offers a very relaxing feel with beautiful sandy beaches along its coasts and an intimate relationship with the sea. But the real marvel here is the desert that defines the Arab soul. The people of Sharjah have a strong and age-old connection to the shifting sands, the stunning wildlife and the haunting beauty of the desert, all of which go hand in hand with the adventure opportunities that it offers with dune bashing and desert exploration beckoning visitors from far and wide. Sharjah is also one of the cultural hubs of the Arab world, a city of impressive and diverse Islamic architecture that showcases both Sharjah's deep commitment to its roots as well as its outward oriented cultural reach. Having always been an important sea trading hub, Sharjah marks its close bond with water through the annual Water Festival that celebrates Sharjah's most important natural resource, the essence of this verdant, park-lined and cosmopolitan, family-friendly city. The festival is a week-long celebration along Sharjah's dazzling tower-lined corniche surrounding the Khalid Lagoon, which also includes F4 excitement and for the first time this year, the Aquabike World Championship, which followed the 16th UIM F1H2O Grand Prix of Sharjah. Now let's see what happened in the previous round. The penultimate round was in Abu Dhabi, the capital of the UAE. Round five saw Alex Carella return to his winning ways by clinching pole position ahead of Sami Celio and Philip Schiap. But he had a terrible start to the race as Celio and Schiap sped past him with Jonas Anderson hot on their tail. Anderson's speed was incredible as a Swedish driver passed both Schiap and Celio to take command of the race opening a ridiculous gap over the field. Meanwhile behind him, Alex Carella made up for the poor start, slowly climbing back up to overtake Schiap and give chase to Celio. His teammate, Daniel Kamzi, who started in 18th and last place, moved up an incredible 13 positions to get into the top five toward the end. A series of breakdowns from Stark and then Torrente ended their chances at a world title. Anderson's brilliant run came to a heartbreaking end with just a handful of laps to go, giving the lead to Celio. But a fuel miscalculation from Madcroft left Celio lingering on the course as Carella stormed into the lead to clinch his first win for Team Abu Dhabi and his first win of the year. Ah. Yes! Yes! His teammate Al Kamzi completed an amazing race in third position, oh moving past an incredible yeah. 15 boats in a single race. But the big news was Xiao, whose runner-up finish was enough to clinch the second consecutive world title of his career. Philip Xiao reigns supreme once again, but behind him are just 12 points separating seven drivers who are all in Sharjah to claim a year-end podium. with 
18 drivers compete at the Grand Prix of Sharjah. Philip Xiap of CTIC China has secured the championship before this last round with an unassailable points lead. But with the pole position and team championships still undecided, they are not here to relax. Yeah, sure, we need to make a good result for the team and uh, uh, we want to win all the championship, driver, team and pole position and everything. There's still a lot of drama to come as seven drivers remain in the running for a year-end podium spot. The new team standings leader, Team Abu Dhabi, is coming off an excellent race in home waters where Corella won and Al Kamzi came third. Both are in incredible form and both feel they could win the year-end event in Sharjah. The most important thing is uh, try to win the team champions with uh, Team Abu Dhabi and uh, Okay, finish running up uh, is a sure important uh, goal for the championship, but uh, I would prefer to be here and fight like last year for the championship for the first spot. But uh, that's the way and let's try to win uh, this important title for the team and uh, let's give it all. Sean Torrente of Victory Team is a man on a mission, desperate to get back to his winning ways in a new boat since his last win in round one in Doha. He wants to get a third year-end podium in a row, and he and Corella have 39 points apiece going into this race. The 2007 and 2010 world champion Sammy Celio of Mad Croc Baba Racing wants to close out a season with at least a Grand Prix win and hopefully a year-end podium spot to go into the new season on a high. Of course, this is the last race of the season, nothing to lose, a lot of to win, so we will push hard and maximum try to get the pole here and win the race tomorrow. The talented Eric Stark of Emirates team had a terrible race in Abu Dhabi, dropping out with problems and is still reeling from that huge accident in China. But does he have the cool to race with the big boys? And let's not count out Jonas Anderson of Team Sweden, who came so tantalizingly close to his first win in years last round. The Sharjah Grand Prix circuit is a distinctive, technical and long five-pin course raced in Khalid Lagoon in the middle of the city, making it a real delight for spectators. This is a strange circuit, first of all, for the water. The water is, yeah, is really stocky water, and it's uh, hard, so we have always to go down with the pitch of the propellers, and that's not help uh, on the speed. And uh, then during the racing hour, it's really uh, crowded and uh, difficult to see because of the sun. So it's not an easy spot. Qualifying is crucial here as drivers chase down pole position through three sessions, Q1, Q2 and Q3. For this race, for, um, the qualifying is very difficult to find the good, uh, the good way and the good props. You have uh, two long uh, streets and uh, one slow turn, it's very, very hard to find the good props and you do make a very good lap for the pole position. In Q1, veteran Francesco Cantando was unable to find the speed he needed to make the Q2 cut. His Motorglass F1 teammate Bartek Marsalek also out as Emirates driver Ahmed Al Hamali clinched the last spot for Q2 qualification. Also out were Nader Bin Hendy of victory, Philip Roms of Mad Croc, disappointment again for Jesper Fors after the big crash in Abu Dhabi, and Christoph Larigo of EMIC finishing in 18th. In Q2, Moritz Stromoy went out on the course, laying down some blistering laps to take a lead for a large part of the session. Eric Stark had some problems, changing and rechanging his props. But he must have done something right, because he ended the session on top, qualifying for Q3 with a roar. In a battle for the sixth and final place, Moritz Stromoy just managed to hold on and bump out the informed Tani Al Kamzi, who may do with seventh. Ahmed Al Hamili's luck ran out as he failed to qualify. <laughs> oh. 
qualify. And disappointment also for CTIC China's Zhang Ziwei and F1 Atlantic driver Duarte Benevente. Q3, the final six boats get the course to themselves with two laps apiece to lay down their fastest times. First out was Murat Stromoy, continuing her excellent Q2 form to set a benchmark of 47.74 seconds. Murat stood back and watched as two-time world champion and qualifying ace Sammy Celio took her on. But he couldn't beat her time, unable to break the 48-second mark. We had a good first lap and then uh, something, uh, something happened with the steering, but now we are first. <laughs> There's still a poor book, so we'll see. Next out was Alex Corella, the Abu Dhabi qualifying winner. He gave it all he had, pushing to the max around the circuit. 47.75, he was just one hundredth of a second short as Murat held on, beating two former multiple world champions. The new world champion, Philip Schiap, was out next. The Frenchman cool, calculated and efficient, his sights set on pole. This time, 47.34, Schiap had provisional pole with the next man up, Sean Torrente. Torrente was unable to qualify for Q3 in China and Abu Dhabi, but this time he was brilliant in his new boat, handling expertly to set a time of 47.53. Excellent time, beats everyone except Xiap. Xiap holds on to provisional pole with one man left, the fastest man in Q2, Eric Stark. The pressure was on, could Stark beat the multiple world champions and take the pole? He pushed hard, barely touching the water, managing his boat expertly. But would it be enough? 47.22, Eric Stark does it. Eric Stark has pole position for the Grand Prix of Sharjah. Good job, congratulations. Come on. So I really needed this, you know, Abu Dhabi was very difficult for me, you know, I had some some ghosts in my head, so, you know, didn't actually trust the boat as, as before, so, you know, getting better and better, and it's a big boost for, for my own ego and, you know, for my, and for all the guys. Chiap starts in second position behind Stark, Torrente third, Stromoy holds on for fourth ahead of Corella and Celio. Local crowds in the media swarmed around Colored Lagoon for the final F1 H2O race of the year. Xiap right. wants the team championship for CTIC China. And can Stromoy deal with Torrente on one side of her and Alex Carella on the other? Stark has the opportunity of a lifetime, starting in pole. Eric. The starting grid, Stark, Shia, Torrente, Stromoy and Corella form the top five. Celio is in sixth, Al Kamzi starts in seventh, Zhang Ziwei starts in tenth, Jonas Anderson has his work cut out for him in sixteenth. Teams make final adjustments to the crucial race line down to the commitment buoy. Just moments to go now, the calm before the storm. The race is on. Eric Stark has a poor start while Shiap explodes off the pontoon, says au revoir to Stark. Moritz Stromoy starting out in fourth, edges out Alex Carella as the 18 boats head to the commitment buoy led by Shiap. At the back of the field, Jonas Anderson powers ahead of Francesco Cantando of Motorglass. It's Shiap first to the commitment buoy with Stark, Stromoy and Carella neck and neck behind him. Moritz Stromoy pushing for second behind Philip Shiap with St <laughs> Oh. 
Stark on the inside. Moritz Stromoy overtakes her former teammate Eric Stark to move into second with Corella now catching up on the outside. As she up opens the gap, the battle rages behind him between Corella and Stark. Stark with the inside advantage, but Corella with the speed on the outside. And behind them is number 77, Sean Torrente, now attacking Stark for fourth. Corella speeds ahead of Eric Stark. The young Swede gets a wash down in Corella's spray as the Italian three-time world champion moves into third. Further back, Yusuf al Rubayan is overhauled on either side by Philip Roms and Bartek Marsalek. An aggressive Sean Torrente makes a move on Eric Stark, eyeing that fourth position as they head into the right-hander. Stark gives it all he has to hold off the blue boat. Schiap extends his lead over Stromoy in second, with Corella pushing behind her, followed by the dueling Stark and Torrente, with Sammy Celio in sixth, trying to push into the top five. Bartek Marsalek chases Philip Roms of Madcroc, but he hooks it coming out of the yellow right-hander, swinging wide. Further back, Cantando gets some speed to overtake Yusuf al Rubayan as the Italian pushes for the top ten. Cantando tries to outmaneuver Ahmed Al Hamali of Emirates team, while Cantando's teammate Marcelek uses his outside speed to keep Cantando at bay. Sean Torrente in fifth, still trying to find a way around Eric Stark as the American cuts in tight on the inside and nudges ahead of the Swede. The two neck and neck. It's going to be very tight around that turn, but Eric Stark holds on as Torrente miscalculates the turn and gets squeezed in. Stark gets a little room to breathe, but Torrente continues his dogged pursuit. Behind them, Jonas Anderson of Team Sweden manages to overtake young Finnish driver Philip Roms as the Swedish veteran continues his climb from 16th to 9th. No change in the top five as Schiap opens his lead further. His Raptor boat once again phenomenally fast with the perfect setup. Celio is in sixth. Behind Celio, Al Kemzi in seventh position, followed by Benevente with Anderson pushing into ninth ahead of Roms, Al Hamili, and Marcelek. Cantando back in 13th position and Al Rubayan struggling in 15th with three drivers behind him. What a race so far from Marit Stromoy, the only female driver on the F1H2O Tour, and she's capitalized well so far on a brilliant fourth place start from qualifying, finding the speed and consistency to bring the fight to Shiap, the only man ahead of her. Back in sixth, two-time world champion Sammy Celio still trying to find a way to crack that top five, but Torrente is having none of it. Catch me if you can, says he to the Finn. Alex Corella, who's hot off a Grand Prix win in Abu Dhabi and second in the world standings, just doesn't seem to be able to have an answer for Moritz Stromoy in second position. Ahmed Al Hamali tries to break into the top 10 to get some points on the board for his team. The battle for fourth spot rages on as Torrente keeps looking for a chink in Stark's armor, trying to find a way to bridge the gap with the Swede. He goes inside, he goes outside, trying everything in the book to try and beat Stark, a former multiple F2 champion. But Eric Stark is solid, with one eye on his rearview mirror as he ducks and dodges repeated jabs from the American ace. In seventh spot, the informed Daniel Kamzi, who won his last race on the tour here in Sharjah several years ago, is being chased by Portuguese veteran Duarte Benevente of F1 GC Atlantic. The diminutive Portuguese maestro taking on the former multiple world number two as Team Abu Dhabi watches on. Trying to push further up the field is four-time Grand Prix winner Jonas Anderson. Meanwhile, 12-time Grand Prix winner Francesco Cantando has to let Schiap lap him by as the Frenchman seeks the cherry on the cake with a year-end Grand Prix win to complement his already consolidated world title defense. Behind Schiap, Moritz Stromoy keeps up her second place position in pursuit of the Frenchman. She sees her chance, Schiap slowing down, the world champion has a problem and Moritz Stromoy passes him to claim the lead of the race. What a turn of events. Moritz Stromoy.
Stromoy with the entire field behind her as she sets her sights on a career first Grand Prix win. With Schiap dropping out, that moves Corella into second behind Stromoy, Stark in third, followed by Torrente, Celio and Alcamzi moving into sixth. The top ten completed by Benavente, Anderson, Alhamli and Cantando. But with more than 20 laps to go, Stromoy has to hold off the three-time world champion Alex Corella. He sets his sights on Stromoy, who has never won an F1 race. Alex has the experience and the boat and is desperate for a second consecutive Grand Prix win. The titanic race-long dogfight between Torrente and Stark continues behind Corella and Celio still no closer to finding a way past Torrente. With 19 laps to go, Stromoy maintains just a sliver of a lead over Corella, barely 1.18 seconds. In 63 race starts, Stromoy is yet to get a podium, but she's closer than ever in Sharjah. And if she were to do it, she'd be the first woman in history to win an F1 H2O Grand Prix. But first, she has to hold off the likes of Corella, Torrente, Celio, and Stark. Her teammate Larry Go was in his first year and trailing in 14th. Tough luck for Duarte Benavente and also for Daniel Camzi as they both pull off the course, dropping out of the race. That moves Anderson up into sixth position. Moritz Stromoy has four top five finishes to her credit, but this is as close as she's ever been since she won pole and led the race back in Portimao in 2011 before a run-in with Torrente ended her race hopes. Now with only 10 laps left, she extends her lead slightly over Corella to 1.76 seconds. Can she keep it together and make history here? Her husband and EMIC team members watch on nervously, crossing their fingers. As the last remaining laps wind down one by one, Corella can find no answer to Stromoy. Her fans' nervous silence is giving way to excitement as they anticipate a win here. There's only one lap left now, the final lap. Moritz Stromoy is about to make F1 H2O history. The first woman in 32 years to win an F1 Grand Prix as she brings the boat around the last turn. And she's done it. A first ever Grand Prix for Moritz Stromoy. But the drama isn't over. Torrente makes an attack on the final lap to zoom ahead of Eric Stark. The Swede relinquishes third place with just a few turns to go, giving Torrente third place behind runner-up Alex Corella. But the day is Team EMIC's day. The race is Moritz Stromoy's race. What an unforgettable performance from the Norwegian. Torrente slips past Stark for third. Celio gets a top five finish ahead of Anderson in sixth. Al Hamley moves up to seventh and points also for Jesper Fors, Nader Ben Hendy getting his first points in F1, with Larigo also closing the race out with a point. I go too fast. She's too fast, man. A runner-up finish for Corella won the 2015 Team Championship for Team Abu Dhabi. CTIC China runners-up with EMIC team finishing third. Yeah, we overcame a lot. We overcame a lot as a team. I overcame a lot as a driver this year. Um, having so many, two different teams, four different boats, and I'm just really happy to be where I'm at now. We're in solid footing going into next year. I was proud of my race today. We didn't have the greatest start, um, but we kept fighting just like we did this year, and in the end, we ended up third, so that's, that's an accomplishment for a new team. I tried hard after middle of the race. I broke the prop, no speed, but I pushing hard for all the 43 laps, but she was fast and uh, Second place was enough for us to win the Team World Championship, so I'm, I'm sure I can fight for the world title next year for sure. And there's the Grand Prix winner, Maritz Stromoy. No, I mean, we had a good start. We really came off the dock nicely, and uh, after Philippe Schaap went out, I mean, I was... Uh, more or less controlling Carella, he was chasing from behind and I, I got constantly updates from my radio man saying 50 inside, 70 outside, but it was a good race and it was the longest 43 laps of my life. <laughs> the final driver standings, no change in the top. <laughs> Top 
three from 2014 as Schiap defends his world title and Carilla once again runner-up ahead of Torrente, Stromoy finishing the season in fourth. Great honor for me, I'm very, very happy again this year. And for me, uh, the best is my team. China team is uh, strong this year. And no discussion, it's the best this year. And I'm very happy and very proud to, uh, to drive for this team. The Sharjah hosts through a spectacular party in honor of the UIM F1H2O World Championship. Team Championship winners, Team Abu Dhabi, were presented with their award. And CTIC China added the pole position and Drivers World Championship trophies to their collection. That brings to a close another spectacular season. See you next year for the 33rd edition of the UIM F1H2O World Championship. Wow, wow, wow.